Hi, I'm Brendan Bueller, and I'm going to take you on a tour of our dynamometer at Radwell International Headquarters in Willingboro, New Jersey. So this is our dynamometer, or dyno for short. Our dyno is fully PLC controlled using an HMI or iPad interface. What we do is fully test and run our drives while applying a load to them. How we do this is we use an AC or DC motor coupled to a DC load motor. We apply an external voltage to the field which creates an armature voltage and that is across a load bank. For safety reasons, we have a fence around the whole dyno. While nothing's running, I could take you through the gate and give you a closer look at the whole dyno. So I'm down here in the dyno pit between dyno five and Dino 4. These are our two smallest dynos and we have multiple configurations of AC motors and DC motors coupled together. We have a 10 horse AC coupled to a 10 horse DC, 15 to a 15, 25 to a 20, 40 to a 40, and a 75 to a 75. This is where all the magic happens. So over here we have our Dino 3, Dino 2, and Dino 1. Dyno 1 consists of a 700 horsepower AC motor coupled to a 500 horsepower DC load. Dyno 2 consists of a 300 horsepower AC motor and a 200 horsepower DC load. And our Dyno 3 consists of a 150 AC motor double shaft with 200 horse DCs on either side. With this test, we're able to test DC drives as well as AC drives. If we're running a DC, the DC motor turns the DC load. If we're running an AC drive, the AC motor turns both DCs and this DC motor turns into a DC load. Before we finish the dyno tour, let me show you the dyno in action. For this test, we have the power output at our Powertron station right here, goes into the drive, and then power from the drive goes into this connector bank, and that is what's connected to our AC motor. So for this test, I'm gonna be selecting Dyno 2. Go to the next screen. And here is where you can monitor all the voltage, amps, of the AC and DC motors as well as control the load. So I'm going to apply power to the drive. Let the drive power up. From here I'm going to use the keypad to enable and select the speed of the motor. As the drive comes up to speed, you'll see the voltage and amps all starting to go up. So now that the motor is up to speed, I can start to apply a load to it. You can either do 1% at a time, or you can go into here and select your percentage. This dyno is a very important test asset to our company. It assures the drive after repair will run under full load as it would in someone else's factory. Thank you for joining us on our dyno tour.